Hello, this is Jan from JC Web Tech. I create tutorials and tips and tricks for Elementor and web design in general. And today I would like to show you this very quick tutorial on how to create a continuously moving slider or carousel in Elementor, which applies both uh, to image slider or this uh, testimonial slider, just any native uh, slider widget uh, with Elementor. And uh, you maybe you are searching for this tutorial because uh, you notice that the default behavior of a slider is that uh, it stops and then it moves. And then it stops and then it moves again, which might not be the best UX uh, for the viewer. Because maybe, especially in this case, you are reading, imagine there is some actual text. Uh, you are reading through this amazing review and you are just like in the middle of, uh, of reading it and you're really trying to make your opinion about it and then it, uh, and it moves. Actually, by default, this is disabled completely so that when you hover over it, it will stop. But that's also not exactly what you want because then it might... Uh, never resume and uh, show the other testimonials or other content so just might be a nice use case for it to be moving nicely slowly maybe a little bit slower than here in this example and i will just show you how to do it very simply by uh, three lines of code so let's go to elementor and uh, already put in uh, dropped in this uh, widget and Put in some pictures that's the whole what I did so let's look at the settings so uh, yes by default we have the, the infinite loop on po pause on hover which is kind of solving the problem I was talking about but we may not like it so we will disable that and we will also pause it on interaction which means that when you start to move it uh, by start to interact with the arrows the uh, continuous movement will stop and never resume so we will turn this off as well and uh, then we will change the duration which is the duration of the movement you will change it to something like uh, four seconds it's in milliseconds hence four thousand and you see it's moving much more slowly and the auto play speed it is basically the time for how long it stops and we, we don't want it to stop we just want it to slowly move so you can already see the result but actually it always still always stops for a moment and it's because there is by default there is applied uh, some easing which means that it's starting slowly, then it moves faster and then it again slows down the movement. And uh, Mentor doesn't give us the option to tweak this, but there is a very simple solution for that. Uh, so we give uh, our, testi our testimonial carousel or any other carousel you might be using, we give it a class. Uh, Use my testimonial slider just to give it give it a name so that we can reference it. And I don't really like putting my custom CSS codes to every widget because then it's hard to manage it. So we will give it to the page. So we go to advance and here we can put uh, in one have in one place all CSS that refers to this page. And I will paste in this uh, code, which is targeting the swiper wrapper, which is a class that's uh, injected by Elementor uh, inside of our or my testimonial slider. As you can see, we are changing the timeline function to linear because by default, as you can see uh, here, in, uh, the, tra the transition timing function is actually not set at all by Elementor because by default it's set to ease. So it will ease in and ease out. Hence this, uh, the, this movement that it's not, uh, not continuous. So I will update. And here we go. 
and our testimonial is moving nice slow might want to put it even slower slower but it depends on your use case so hope this one was helpful and uh, you can leave uh, leave any comment if you have any question or or you share share where you used it and well i see you in the next one